milling compound angles. This is video two of a four part video series that I explain compound milling angles and compound drilled holes. In this video we are using angles and lengths to find tilt and rotation. Well let's get started right now. Compound milling angles shop project step-by-step -step how-to guide to basic compound angles milling okay so what we have here is we have basically all the dimensions we have two angles and a height so what we want to find in this case is our rotation angle first and then we'll find our tilt so here's going to be our tilt angle it is very difficult to see let's try this other angle here okay so our rotation angle is going to be this angle here which we're going to use for rotation and then this angle here is going to be our tilt angle our setup will look like this now keep in mind your setup may look differently depending on the type of equipment that you're going to use the objective of this exercise is to find the gauge block height of m and q so what we have here is we have a rotation angle but we don't have a height here although we have this height and this height okay 1.875 minus 1 is going to be 0.875 so what we have here is we have this height now and we have this angle so what we have is 0.875 plus this angle so therefore what we want to find is the adjacent and what we have is the opposite so we're going to use cotangent this is how you type it into your calculator tan 25.875 equals second function 1 over equals times 0.875 so therefore we have a length of 1.88 6. Now we need to find the other side. So we have a height of 0.875 and we have an angle of 40. Okay, so 0.875, length of BU is what we want to find. We have an angle of 40. Our angle here is our adjacent. We have an opposite. So what we want to find is our adjacent. So it's adjacent over, hypo over opposite. So therefore, we're going to use cotangent again. Tan 40 equals second function 1 over equals times 0.875. And it's 1.0427. So now we have length A and length B. We need to find angle C. Because once we find angle C, we can subtract that from 90 and come up with angle R. So we have this length here, this length here, we want to find out this length here. So we have this length here, this length here, and we're going to calculate C. So opposite and adjacent, we're going to use tan. This is how we type it into our calculator. Second function tan bracket 1.8, no, 1.4. 27 divided by 1.8 equals 30 degrees so therefore angle C equals 30 degrees 90 minus 30 equals 60 so therefore angle our rotation angle is going to be 60 so now we want to find the tilt we want to find the length of tilt this top length here So we have this length here and we have this angle we can find this length sine 30 so our top length is going to be 0 0.93 0 0.903 now we want to find our actual angle here Let's see if we can get in here our tilt angle here so 
0 0.093. We know that this length from here to here is 0 0.875. It's the opposite over adjacent again. So we're going to use tan. Second function tan. Our angle is 44 degrees. Now the idea of this exercise is to find out our gauge block height. We have a slight problem. If we're using 60 degrees, this is too high. This block is too high. So whenever we run into this situation, the maximum should be 45 degrees and switch it over. So we're gonna use the complementary angle. The complementary angle of 60 is 30. So 90 minus 60 equals 30. So therefore, it's going to be the same angle. We're just going to lift from this side instead of this side. So this is a more proper setup. So 30 degrees sine 30 equals times 3. Because our top sine bar is a 3 inch sine bar equals 1.5 inches. Gauge block Q equals 1.5 inches. Sine, oop, 45, 40.9 times 5, because our sine plate is 5 inches, is 3.4794. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, if you want to see more great videos on Shop and Math, visit my YouTube channel, Shop and Math. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Just click on the icon on my face and I'll do the rest. Also, this is part two of four. So make sure you check out the other four videos. Have a great night.